welcome to another studio vlog i look like a hot mess i haven't even showered yet today but i'm here i figured i have some cleaning to do in the craft room today i have bed head look at this like what is happening okay um we have some work to do in the craft room i really need to like get cleaning in here and stop procrastinating getting everything like cleaned up i don't know i need i need a better workspace so we're gonna be focusing on that for a little while today we got a whole lot coming up this week um really excited i'm gonna be making some mouse pads um i've had a couple requests for those so i'm like super super excited to start like really focusing on that kind of stuff i don't know if i'll get any stickers done this week just because i have a few other things that i need to work on but maybe hopefully fingers crossed i don't know we'll see um let's go ahead and get started on like organizing because your girl needs the, all the organization <laughs> So I'm taking a break from doing my stuff upstairs because there's some thumping outside the window. So I came to investigate and Andrew and Kieran are working on building a paver thing for our trash cans. So yay. 
You got it. Keep going. <laughs> Good job. I'm turning into gravel. <laughs> In particular, that was turning out a little bit too sticky and had to make the gold kind of smooth in the center. I then decided to take some falls while the tape was still wet so you could kind of get that glossy texture to add to it even more rather than scanning it in on my scanner, which can kind of give like a flatness to it. And I also wanted to play around a little bit with the colours, maybe deepen the greens, make it look less flat and bring out the vibrancy a little more. And then it was finally time to go home and replenish some HP because my health bar was running critically low at this point. I thought this would be a lot easier than it was, but it actually turned out to be quite challenging. What you got? What is it? What is it? A tooth. <gasps> is that your tooth? Yes. Oh my gosh, you lost your tooth. Okay, smile for me. Wait, I can't see the bottom teeth. Is it a bottom tooth? Ah! Get that finger out of there. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Wow. Were you trying to get it to fall out by eating an apple? No. You were just hungry for an apple? And then I tried scraping the apple on my tooth, and then it finally came out. Oh, my goodness. That's your third lost tooth, huh? Wow. What a big boy you are. Is the tooth fairy going to come tonight? Maybe.
ink colors look better already. working on making some stickers for mouse pads. So I designed, I illustrated this in Procreate and then I made it into a sublimation mouse mat or mouse pad. What do you guys call them? Mouse pads or mouse mats? I don't know. Um, I turned it into that and then I'm working on trying to figure out the packaging because I don't know what to do for the backing. If anyone has any suggestions for backer cards or something like that, let me know. I'm having a hard time finding someone. Can you guys hear that jet? It's the middle of the night. It is 9.30 at night and the jets are still flying. Um, anyway, so I'm working on developing like some sort of packaging for those because I just got an order and I got a request for another sublimation mouse mat. So I figured I should try to like figure out some packaging. I'm making some stickers. So I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. But yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that these would do kind of like a kiss cut where they didn't actually cut all the way through but that did not happen they did cut all the way through so now I have individual stickers rather than like kind of like a sheet I was sort of hoping oh apparently that came off whoops okay we'll just <laughs> oh no I accidentally stuck it to the packaging. We'll just try sticking it right here and see how it looks. Although look, it creased. 
right there. I don't like that. See how there's a crease? Ugh. Not a fan. Um, I feel like I may need to use different sticker paper. I think the idea is good, but I might want to use my like weatherproof stick. That sucks to have to use the weatherproof sticker for this, but like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? We officially have flowers on the sugar snap peas. I know last week I was just saying, I wasn't sure if we were ever gonna get any, and now here they are. Yay. <laughs> okay, I'm going a little crazy right now because I thought we weren't gonna get any beans and apparently beans have been growing here. Oh, I can't get it to focus. The beans, they've been growing on this plant and I didn't even realize it. Okay, it turns out we're just really unobservant. Cause look, there is a whole green bean. Look at them. They're just, they're right there. And I just had no idea. There's another, there's, oh, there's another one right there growing. Oh my gosh. There's green beans That's all over the place. <laughs> All right, so there's only one green bean that's big enough to pluck this morning, but I think we're gonna go ahead and grab it. <laughs> that's a whole green bean. Ah! The other ones are still a little smaller, so I'm gonna leave those and let them grow. This is an onion flower. Do you guys know onions had flowers? They do. I have been spending a lot of time trying to figure out a like an intro video for my videos um and I bought this thing this like intro um 
from a website. And then it turns out that I needed After Effects, like this editing program to like use it. And I have Photoshop, like the Adobe Suite or whatever that I pay for every month. Uh, and so I have After Effects, and, but the learning curve was wow um so it took me hours and hours even just to like figure out the most basic editing stuff but i finally did it and now i have a logo or like a like an intro um so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like hold on one sec It is literally 2.30 in the morning right now, but I'm in the craft room and I am cleaning. So um, I figured I would like pop on and uh, show you guys kind of what I'm working on. So I got this um, package from Ranger full of some stuff that I ordered and um, just like kind of a collection of stuff. So I'm going to be working on trying to find somewhere to put all of this, but um, I figured we could at least open it together and you can kind of see what's coming into the craft room. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of stuff and I'm actually um, trying to figure out the best way to de-stash. Um, whether you guys would be interested in maybe like mystery mailers or like a shop your stash sort of thing. I don't really know how that would work. I've been listing some stuff like on online marketplaces and stuff like that, but there's just so much stuff that I need to get rid of. I really need to pare down my stash and like really consider what I can keep because my room is just too full of things and it's taken me years to get this many things, but it's just time to say goodbye to some of the stuff I'm not using as much anymore. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this and uh, we'll see what's in it. Yay! All right, so we're on my desktop now. I was working on the plans for my craft room. So uh, this was kind of like the drawing that my husband was working on. And I was working on putting in like where I would put stuff. So I was trying to figure out like where all my stuff is going to go. And this is not the final drawing, but um, we're getting closer and closer. And then I have to figure out how I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> um, so I have to do my finances and kind of figure out if I can afford it right now. Um, the prices of wood have gone up a lot, I think, because of the pandemic. There's like I, well, I think is at least related, but there's like a wood shortage and um, the prices of lumber like plywood and things like that are very expensive right now. So yes, anyway, this is kind of the, the idea so far. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and open this box. So we are here. I think I'm going to put this down like near me and then 
will open. I'll just kind of show you guys what I'm getting. So I've got a ton of reinkers this time. Um, I am working on putting together the collection of Distress Oxide reinkers because um, I have all of the Distress Oxide ink pads, but I don't have all of the reinkers yet. I think I still need like 11 or 13 more or something. I don't know. So I'm gonna un I'm gonna bag unbag all of those. Um, I got these alcohol ink uh, hardcore art panels. They come in a set of three. Yeah, three. Um, and I got a couple of them. So I'm going to be teaching a class on the Michaels website on behalf of Ranger in July. Um, and I'm doing some alcohol ink techniques for that. Um, so they've sent me some of this stuff to use for the class. Um, I also got this clear resin stuff. <laughs> I have to test it out and see what it's like. But you're supposed to be able to seal uh, your alcohol ink creations with this which is great because I had done some alcohol ink coasters on some tiles previously and they as soon as I not as soon as but a while after using them as a coaster without sealing them they started kind of like disintegrating the alcohol inks sort of just like got watered down I, I guess I don't know anyway they eventually like basically rubbed off um so I'm gonna see about sealing this so I got a couple of these just to like test it out and see how it goes. I'm not sure if this is like a one-time use. <sighs> I don't really know. I'll have to figure out how to use these. Maybe I'll do a video on it. <laughs> um, and I also got um, some multimedia mat because you can't ever have enough adhesive. I got a smaller bottle of it as well. And then... I got the new Distress color, which is called Salvage Patina, and I got that. I got everything. I got all the things. <laughs> um, so, oh, there's my Diet Dr. Pepper. Can't live without that. Why am I drinking it at 2.30 in the morning? Good question. I really shouldn't be. Um, distress Spray Stain. We've got the Distress Oxide Spray, the Reinker, uh, the Paint, Salvage Patina Distress Paint. Um, we've also got the Distress Oxide, uh, Distress Embossing Glaze, and the Distress Ink Reinker, and then a palette knife <laughs> for my lunar pastes. Um, and then I actually got this, which is a replacement, because my Simon stamp set that I got was actually defective. Um, and Ranger was so super good and they replaced it for me. So if you ever have issues with your stamp sets and something is not quite right, um, definitely contact them because their customer service is really good and um, they'll definitely take care of it for you. So that is what was in the box. Now we're, now we're empty. Um, so now I have to find a place to put all of this stuff. <laughs>
right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the studio vlog here for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little longer, but I wanted to include all of the different things that I was doing this week. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it down below. I'm also looking to do a Q&A style video coming up about being a creative entrepreneur. So if there are things that you guys want to know about what it's like to be a creative entrepreneur, working for design teams or working for creative companies, drop comments down below and let me know what it is you guys want to know and I will compile those into a video to share with you guys soon. I am also working on the mystery mailers or whatever sort of aspect I'm doing to clear out my stash. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Uh, also drop a comment and uh, let me know what you think. If you guys are looking for a particular value or price point that you would want for the mystery mailers or how you've seen it done other places uh, for D stashes. So yes, let me know all the things, all the comments. Do it. You guys know what to do. Okay. I'll see you next time. Love you. Okay. Bye.